heart-wrenching cries as a friend realizes their loved one is shot. First responders doing compressions, trying to save the victim's life, but tragically, she dies. Not even 12 hours later, it's like nothing happened in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Some visitors shocked to hear they parked their car where someone was just killed. It makes me feel unsafe. Investigators have not said much about the deadly shooting, including what led up to the violence or if they made an arrest. But police most likely were nearby. This deadly shooting happened less than a thousand feet away from the police department. And Seattle police had extra patrols out this weekend for pride festivities. This shooting also happened before 1230 in the morning when many bars and businesses are still open. The question, is this a preview of what's to come this summer? You know, the gun violence is, uh, unfortunately, it does uh, pick up in the summertime. A statement that now seems more like a prediction from Seattle police. This interview is from Thursday when a 14-year-old was shot and killed outside of his home in South Seattle. Then Sunday morning, police responded to the Chinatown International District for another deadly shooting. A 35-year-old man killed. No arrests made in that case. Less than 24 hours later, this murder in Capitol Hill. Can someone do anything about this? Can someone stop this? Do we have the power, the authority? Who's going to keep us safe? I reached out to Seattle city officials to get answers to those questions. I heard back from the Seattle Police Department who responded with a statement essentially saying that they have been cracking down on violence with their task force since the spring and they're focusing on repeat shooting suspects. I've also reached out to the mayor's office. I'll have their full statement on fox13seattle.com. It's important to note the city has seen 28 homicides so far this year. During the same time period last year, they had 34. Reporting in Seattle, A.J. Janivel, Fox 13 News.